The year was 1990, 26 years ago. My husband had gotten his ham radio license, and I had not taken my test to get my license yet. The only way that I could talk on the radio is if he was sitting there, you know, to allow me to use his call sign while he monitored what I did, according to the rules for the FCC. So from time to time, I'd see him around, you know, in the house, and I'd have a few minutes, you know, and I'd ask him if I could talk on the radio, you know, and say hey to some of the fellers there on the, the frequency of the radio club that he belonged to. And he never cared, you know, go ahead, use it. So one morning I'd come in from doing the, the work out at the barn, feeding all the critters. And I sit down there at the radio and I was talking to some of the fellers. And I told them that I just got done with the feeding. And they asked me what kind of critters I had. And I went to naming them all off. And I finally got to the turkeys. I said, I got a pair of bourbon red turkeys out in the hen house. And one feller says, um, well, you got a pair of them. That means you got a male and a female. And I said, yes. And he said, and they're out there in the hen house together. And I said, yes. And he says, are they married? And I said, well, no. And he says, well, we can't have this. We can't have this at all. It, this is not good. We have to see that these turkeys get married. Why, they can't be out there living in sin in that hen house. And I went along with it. And... They, they kept talking and going on about it, and there was one ham radio operator that was a minister, and there was another one that he uh, had a band, played in a band, country western type group, and there's another one that could play the harmonica, and he said he'd played the wedding march. One of them got in touch with the county and got a marriage license, and we set the date and everybody kept talking this up there on the, the radio frequency and we had no idea how many people would show up for this thing as it turned out we had about 150 people show up the date of the turkey's wedding was the same day as the anniversary of diana and prince charles wedding <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't planned. That happened by accident. And the way we did this, we told everybody just, you know, we had a grill available if they wanted to bring a cooler with their meat of choice and uh, bring their own soft drinks and bring a covered dish. And we we put this deal on. And everybody from the radio club chipped in to help us get everything ready. And we set straw bales out across the barnyard there like church pews. And we put paper down the, the middle of it for an aisle, for, you know, walking down the aisle. And it really turned into a party. And we had some contests and stuff after it's over with. But that <laughs> that's what this is all about. And local TV station even came out and filmed it. And did a little piece at the end of the 11 o'clock news that night about it. And that's on this video too. So what I'm going to do is a screen share on this. So that y'all get to to enjoy this old video with me. Uh, I'll be narrate, narrating throughout uh, to give you an idea of what what's going on with this silly thing. But... Uh, <laughs> well, well, we'll bring her up here and we'll uh, we'll try to get it going for you. Uh, let's get her going big. There we go. And I'm going to play it and I'll break it in a few spots because there's some music and stuff in it that the copyright hit me for. So we'll go ahead and play this. Now, these youngins that's in this thing, they're all grown with kids of their own now. Kids about to get married by this point in time. These are some of the people from the radio club that was standing in as the best man and the maid of honor. There's the birds.
Fred and Ethel. You can see there I've made a veil for Ethel. My husband's holding her and I'm holding Fred. He had a little tuxedo front thing on him that I'd made for him.
hands of now commit yourself to you and strive to live so that no gobble or deed will cause her to ruffle her tail feathers. <laughs> Ethel, change your virtues the heart you have won by your graces. Thank you both. Let not your squawking lose their tender of a flex of affection. Let not your your joy forget the gentle rays your eyes for in courtship smiling days. Now thank you, Brian. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to It was a double ring ceremony. We had leg bands for both of them and hadn't put the leg bands on the birds there. Ethel got hers and now Fred's getting his. <laughs> it was about 100 degrees in the shade that day. Lord, it was hot. We went back up to the barn and got some pictures taken of them and of the whole group there that was part of the entourage for the ceremony. There's the television station interviewing the minister ceremony. And the food, Lord have mercy, there is so much food. I never got a bite of it. With the animals and uh, <laughs> trying to make sure that everything got where it was supposed to be, that I didn't get any vittles. We had that little lawn tractor there that we took the kids ride around in. You'll see that a little bit later on. There's our grill. It's a big old barrel we cut in two and fixed it up there for a grill. There's the hen house. I put a sign there on the door and made a sign that said, Home Sweet Home, Fred and Ethel. Chickens milling around. People with plates full of food, enjoying themselves. It was a party. Members of the radio club. Back up at the hen house after I got the turkeys turned loose up there. They got them a good drink and had to be back up at the coop. It was hot out there handling them. This is the guy's uncle, I think. <laughs> And we'll stop it there before they get into music and, and get me copyright hitted. And <laughs> we'll move on up here a little bit 
and uh, play you a little more of this. Let's see. I believe we want to go right about here and hit it again. And showing the kids some musical instruments that the band had up there and how some of that stuff worked. Where the band was set up, and then, and then this is just people gathered all over the barnyard. I had a little pool out there for the kids to play in in the afternoon, and plenty of places for people to sit and eat. We took some straw bales and put uh, plywood on top of them to make tables for folks. Meanwhile, back up there at the grill. <laughs> oh, and then they put cold water on my husband. He, he was so tired. Oh, he's wore out because we'd worked ourselves to death on, on this thing. And uh, they horsed around and threw a, uh, cold water on him. And let's see, we'll skip forward here a little bit. I, and I just, I don't even like to see that happen to him. We may have had some differences, but... <laughs> <laughs> he didn't deserve to have that happen to him. And let's see, we want to go up to about, let's see, right about there. Apparently they had world famous spaghetti there. I didn't get a bite of it. <laughs> Judging by the looks of me, though, I could have stood to miss a few meals. So... <laughs> There, there's a tractor with the little wagon for the kids to ride around on. We haul people's coolers in that too, up and down the road there, because they parked probably two miles down the road. We had a turkey calling contest out there in the barn. You get to see a little bit of that. Now, that ain't no turkey call I've ever heard, but he is entertaining. I'll hand him that. <laughs> hey, getting involved in it. And I passed out uh, ice cream certificates to the ice cream, local ice cream store for everybody. But, uh, well, I, I don't, I won't say local, it, it's a chain that is in Ohio, so, you know, there's a lot of people that uh, could go to those ice cream places and get them some ice cream. And then, uh, let's see, we're going to move up here a little bit further in this. Um, believe that I want to go right about, move up just a little further. Right about there should be good. We'll play a little bit more of this. There's the bonfire. We had a bonfire that evening. If you got close enough to it, Skeeter stayed off of you. We had some Port of Johns brought in for the crowd. Somebody putting some Skeeter spray on their legs to keep from getting ate up. I was playing frisbee out there. Folks just sitting around enjoying the summer evening weather. Kids was getting filthy, <laughs> but they sure having a good time. 
And that table there was my dining room table. <laughs> we had to put the leaves in it. And then I had another table out there at the barn. That's, that's that table there. It's got stuff still piled up on it. That was all full of food, every bit of it. This is the news part of it, where, where it hit the news. They say all brides are beautiful. Cole came along, and her groom isn't too hot looking either. Fred and Ethel, two turkeys, got married today. <laughs> the bride was breathtaking, <laughs> and the groom, well, he seemed bewildered by it all. This was a real ceremony performed by a reverend, Larry Tilden, at the bride and groom's home. Brenda and Jim Bernard, who say Fred and Ethel were living in sin, cooked up in the hen house. So with the help of members of the Kettering Medical Center Amateur Radio Association, Fred and out of Ethel, and I'm told that they made the hen house the honeymoon suite for that's our report for this Sunday night. Thanks for being with us. Be sure to stay with your 24-hour news source for hourly news updates throughout the night. And she had the nerve to wear it white. That's disgusting. <laughs> Call them up. <laughs> so there, there you have my video, my old video on the turkeys and them getting married and all the fun that we had with that big wing ding. And that, that was a party that we had. I sure hope that you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. And this has been long in the making, too, because I, I had that on VHS. I had to send it off to a friend of mine to, to get it uh, turned over to a uh, disc that I could play on the computer. And then I had to figure out how to upload and download. And, and <laughs> I, I never did figure out how to edit it because I don't have editing software. So I've had to do it in a screen share. And Lord have mercy. I, jump through hoops all day with this thing, but I sure hope you enjoyed it. And uh, it was a lot of fun back then doing it. It's a lot of fun now watching it. A lot of memories there. So there you have my big claim to fame and <laughs> how I ended up on the news. <laughs> and it's not everybody that can say that they ended up on the 11 o'clock news because they married a couple turkeys off. 